Good morning there folks. Today's video is going to show you how to use the FTP file synchronization manager to automatically take your data log files from your Red Lion device and have them be copied or moved over to some FTP server somewhere. So as you can see right now, I'm showing the web page of a uh, Red Lion HMI that I've got open. And what I'm using here, let me go to the Crimson program. I'm using one of our new CR3000 models. I call them the CR3K. I got a seven inch screen. <clears throat> and on this particular application, uh, I'll just show you a few things. Over in data tags, I've got some tags here that are integer values. And all I'm doing is using the random number generator uh, here as the function between 0 to 32,767. That's all these are doing. So this is randomly generating a number. And then, of course, on the format tab, since I'm going between 0 and 32,767, I've got that declared down here, which then allows me uh, in my display page, the trend viewer, to show that. Now, the trend viewer, it gets its data from a data logger. So over here on the left in data logger, I have got four data logs set up, log one, two, three, and four. And you'll see here, team, I've got it set up as a continuous sample. I'm taking a reading once a second. Each file holds 60 samples, or therefore one minute of data. And then for my test, I'm having the HMI retain the last 30 minutes of data. So after 30 minutes goes by, it will delete the oldest with the newest. If I go to the Contents tab, you'll see here that Log 1 is showing number 1. Log 2 is showing number 2. Log 3 has that. And Log 4 there. So everything I've got set up here right now will keep all of these data log files on the resident HMI. So if I uh, update this to my screen, there you go. And if I go to the web browser, which I was just showing you here, if I go to the web browser right here, if I hit the back arrow, and if I click the view logs, you can see here that I've got some data log files. You can see here they're showing up under each directory. The interesting thing I want to point out to you is that if you look long enough at the data log file, the name structure, depending how often you're saving it, you can see that in this case we're creating a new file every minute. So the file name structure is January 22nd, 8.40 a.m., 8.39 a.m., and so forth. So uh, that's the structure. Eventually, we will see the last 30 minutes of data on this particular unit. Now, again, the goal of this exercise, oops, the goal of the exercise is to take those data logs and have them automatically moved over to an FTP site, a, a file or a computer that's set up as an FTP server. So what I'm going to do here is in Crimson, I'm going to go over to the left-hand side and go to Communications on the left side. And you've got all this stuff here. I'm going to look in the Services section here, in the Services. And a couple of things I'll point out to you. One, if I go to the FTP server, I have this HMI here also enabled as FTP server. But what I really want to do is I want to move those data log files over to a server somewhere else. So I'm going to go down to this section here called the Sync Manager. And on the Sync Manager, I'm going to go ahead and enable the Sync Manager. And I know that my FTP server has an IP address of 192.168.1.21. Uh, I've got that server set up with anonymous access, so I'm going to leave all this default here. All that looks good. Uh, now this right here will manually let me move files, but I want this thing to automatically move it. So I'm going to go over here and enable the, the uh, file sync feature, which opens this down here. And what I'm going to do here is um, on the FTP site, where these files are going to go, I want to actually create a directory there called CR3K underscore 7, because I want these files over there to show up under some directory in that location. And I'm going to make, in this case, this is the part that people get a little confused on here, team, is this section right here. So uh, you can determine 
if you wanted to do every hour, if you wanted to do it on some certain minute. And then the offset here is if you have multiple screens that are pushing data to an FTP server, you want to add some offset in here. So in case another one is doing it at the same time, you can make this guy say, hey, delete a minute or I'm sorry, uh, delay a minute or something. So in this case, I want to put in here a five minute interval. So every five minutes, I'm going to want to copy this data over to my server. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my hard drive. Now, before I execute this, I do want to show you something. So I use a software package called Core FTP. I like this package because it allows me to access uh, different devices and so forth, FTP sites. And so if I go here, and here we are, for instance, this right here. This is my FTP server that I've got running. I'm going to hit the Connect button here. And we can see here, uh, this is kind of tricky here. Let me do something here, team. Let me click on this window here to make this the focus window. Let me go back and connect here. Say I want to go connect to that guy. All right, so this window right here is the uh, FTP server. And then if I click on this window, just make, kind of make this my focus window here, if I want to connect this to my 7-inch HMI, I'll hit the connect, and I can see I've got a profile here. There it is, and the IP address of my 7-inch is .37, anonymous. I'll hit connect, and let's see what it shows over here. Okay, so if you look here, I have no idea why this is there, but anyway, if I go to uh, the logs category, look at here, team. If I look at the data logs, you're going to see that it shows all the same data logs. Now my goal, just to reiterate, my goal is after I download, I eventually want these log files to show up over here under some directory of CR3K underscore seven inch and then the logs. You see they're not there now. So I'm gonna go over here to Crimson and I've saved the program. I think I've got this all set up correctly here. I'm also gonna record log file, no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and download this to the HMI. Now I've downloaded to the HMI. So now my HMI, once it refreshes here, you can see it's still filling in my random numbers here. But if I go back to here, I'm going to click on this field here, and I want to link this to my server. Hit connect. All right. Oops, I think I did the wrong one. This one here is this. Let me do this here. That's the server. And this one here is the 7 inch screen right here. So if I go over here and hit connect to the 7 inch. Perfect. Okay. So eventually I'm looking for a directory here to show up that'll show this. So it's about every five minute interval. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here for a second. And uh, we'll let five minutes go by and I'll pick back up. Okay, folks. I'm back here uh, at my. Uh, site and I waited a few minutes roughly about five minutes or so for this thing to pick back up and if I go back to my FTP server right here this side here was my FTP 21 and if I hit the refresh button here you're gonna see here what's interesting uh, is I've got now a new directory here called CR3K and if I happen to double click on the CR3K you can see there's a directory here called logs if I click on this, it, 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 let me do it again here. There we go. And if I double click on log one, look at here, team. It is now copying. So if I go over here, this is on the actual HMI, log one. Here's the files. And as you can see, it is starting to dump those files automatically over here. And it will do that every five minutes. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video again and let it sit for a little bit and let it run and we'll see here uh, if more show up so let's pause it again hello there folks I'm back here Joe was back here a few more minutes passed and I just wanted to go back into my FTP site so here is the FTP location if I hit the refresh button here and if I go into this new CR3K go into logs if I click here look at here team it's actually showing more of the data logs whereas the previous time we only showed the first three but you can see here, it's got all the data log files from the 7-inch HMI. So pretty slick if you ask me. Uh, 
that I'm able to take the files from the HMI and remotely send them over to an FTP server. And I think it's pretty cool is that you're able to put in a directory here. So if I had multiple Redline HMIs, I could actually declare a stiff, different directory here and it uh, will put it in there. So that's pretty nice, easy way to use the FTP sync manager in the automatic mode with the log synchronization. So uh, I just thought I'd post a quick video of that. It seems to work pretty nice. And uh, quite honestly, I think it's really uh, easy. So, hey, thanks a lot. You have a great day, folks. See you later.